What's up, low gang? Welcome to a new video. <laughs> Welcome to Clan Wars, bros. <clears throat> this is a beautiful, beautiful recording of a lot of junk that I never actually found fitting to post. It's not junk, though. These are some proper freaking good games. This is actually the very first session I ever had on my Cricket Hover. Like, I built this thing and figured I want to do something different in Clan Wars, so... Yeah. I figured, why not play a Cricket Hover? So, don't... Like, don't fucking yell at me in comments if I miss 80% of my shots. I don't, though. I think I miss 50%, <laughs> which is still terrible. But we're not going to talk about that. Um, this was actually something that I just recorded for having, like, for background stuff and for Clan Wars videos. I didn't really, like, want to post this as live gaming because I don't really commentate while I play Clan Wars most of the time if I'm recording. Anyways, I still decided to include my beautiful focus face so you can enjoy that for the next 12 minutes. Go grab some food, go grab some drinks, settle in because this is gonna be freaking good. We got two games for you to today, KB KTB and Swap. Now, on the first video here, I, wanna, I want you to focus on something beautiful that is gonna happen soon. Uh, it's some boring games, I can tell you that already, sorry to spoil it, but there's some beautiful shots and nevertheless, so don't stay for the wins, stay for the awesome gameplay. And the first thing, like, look at the map bottom, bottom map here right now, you see that I actually have two melees coming for me right now, so I decided to cloak up and just, like, just drop some appreciation in the comment section for the most beautiful dodge, dog dodge that you will ever see. Basically what happens here is that I see the dogs after me, but I cloak too early, so I have to do something. I figure I'm gonna try to flip him. <laughs> so I jump down and then I just sit in that hole and it actually worked out and I don't know how it did, but it did. He landed straight on top of me. He didn't flip though, but he literally landed on top of me. Like, intensity of the game, nah, there isn't any because we basically just cap and that's it, nothing else. So there you go, winning the first round, beautiful. Moving on to the second round. Uh, this one actually had some proper gameplay, so yeah, you're not gonna want to miss out on this. Uh, they decide to push us here, and that is, like, I have the most fun whenever an enemy team actually decides to push versus a cricket. Just watch what happens. Yeah. Because you can land so much damage, and imagine the, the amount of damage I would have landed if I actually knew how to play the cricket better. We still hit some, but the fun thing about, like... Playing a cricket a hover against a team that pushes you is you, you can just keep on backpedaling and you can just absolutely suppress the area that they are actually approaching from, which is super cool and that is what I enjoy about the cricket. We uh we fight those two dogs off pretty well like Spedamix and Untaken they don't have any issues fighting dogs they're both the as aspect players in this clip so yeah that is kind of straightforward. Turku on the uh, porks. It's just laying down like porcupines in our trail while we push back. And after he did that, he just rushed to cap while we fend off the dogs. So if they want to go for the cap, he's there ready to porcupine the shit out of that cap. So the second round, yeah, you've probably guessed it. We won. <laughs> and I don't want to sound arrogant. So if you don't want to watch this, skip to 455 where the next game actually starts no don't do that 430 430 skip to 430 where the next game starts because spoiler alert we actually win the second round as well here like if we want to talk strategy i make a big mistake here simply because i'm new like i just want to keep as much suppressing fire going at the ramps where they come from but because of the fact that i'm actually new i decide to just go for the spot that i know is good the high ground over here and i shouldn't have done that because they were focused on getting on cap so i wasn't in any danger so i didn't have to move to save a safer spot at any point but we cap once again nice and easy first win moving on to the second game and trust me the second game here that is something you want to stay and enjoy yeah. the team that we're actually going to face here in just a second there we go the team that we're facing is swap and even though this was my first time playing the cricket harbor this was honestly probably one of the best freaking games and most enjoyable games that i've played in a long time because it was just a funny match and they gave us some really good competition and i learned a lot from this match so yeah that's why it was funny it's n probably not the the best like gameplay you've ever seen but it was just 
it was just some solid games, to be fair. <clears throat> the uh, the first game here, starting out, I'm just using my map to see where they actually are, trying to cricket them, and we land a, a nice little 283 damage hit there. So we probably haven't hit much more than a bit of spaced yeah. ammo, but that's all good. The more hits, the better. That's really all you can do. <clears throat> After going for those dudes, sorry, my throat is messing up a bit right now. I just quickly rush over there because I see that they want to go for the jump. I can see that on the map. So I simply just quickly suppress the entire ramp there. I do understand why they want to go for the ramp because they actually want to get to the cap before us, considering that we have the poke. If we get the poke on the, uh, yep. on the cap first, it's going to be so hard for them to get in there. Because you don't want to just, especially considering that they are all ground vehicles, they don't have a single hover. So it's a struggle for them to uh, to get into cap if there's just porcupines everywhere. The boys do a very nice job though of countering them on the cap. So it never really gets all that much <clears throat> interesting on the cap. As you can see, we take the cap so easily there. As soon as Turku is in there... He uh, right, he lays now. down porcupines. As you can see, the dog just cloaked up there on the map. I see that, so I cloak up and I jump down. He might be thinking, oh, he's still up there. Because as you can see, he just turned up like on the map up there. And he's looking for me up there. But I'm down here, so he's like, where did he go? Um, I see that, so I quickly just throw some rockets to him. Sadly, don't really strip any lances. I would have loved to do that. The tsunami's turn for me, so I quickly remove my ash from their direction so I don't lose my back hovers. If I lose my back hovers, I'm game over. I see the lancer here getting uh, getting cap cams, so I simply just want to land a lot of damage on him so we can get those nasty spears off, which we do. And meanwhile, we keep the fight going. I miss a shit ton of shots here. I know that, boys. I'm sorry about that. But as I said, I'm still pretty freaking new to this. So, yeah. But nevertheless, that is it for the first game. We get the cap zone. There we go. Nice first game. And, uh, yeah, that was just such an enjoyable game. Because I, you know, messed around with the dog. Like, I had to and all that shit. So, that was actually so good. Still going for the high ground. The early high ground here in the second round. You always want to go for that, basically. Because the earlier you can get the high ground, the more damage you can land. And you can actually, like, you can do two volleys here before you have to move if it's spiders you're facing. So I go ahead and do that because that's my job. And then I move to cap. And pretty much prepare myself for whenever that they are going to come out at their side of the, uh, the ramps over there. Just waiting for them to step out so that I can land some crickets on them. So here yep. we are. I just move for Turico because he's, he's going for the jump as well. Uh, if we can get the Porcupine up there first, like I said in the first game, it's uh, it's going to be hard for them to take the cap. So Turiko approaching cap, I, for some reason, decide to just feel like, fuck me, I don't want to hit any crickets at all. So I just shoot them out randomly. <laughs> but luckily, the second volley actually gets some damage in here. Right now, the dog, I'm, I'm thinking that the dog is going for me. So I basically start looking out for him, launch some crickets that way. I think he saw that. Because he cloaked up looking like he was coming from my direction, but he didn't. So I turned my focus the other way again. But decided to go for the jump as he still hasn't showed up. And that was a good idea because as you can see, he actually showed up behind me afterwards. Um, so I go down here. This is another spot that I like to take because if they push the ramps, they can't hit you. They will have to push in. And if they have will push in further to get me, they're going to expose themselves to the guys in cap. Very freaking nice. Now, at this point, I actually see the dog coming for us. But for some reason, I don't call it out until he's actually on top of Spedimix. Then that got Spedimix killed. So that was super bad play by me. I should have opened my freaking mouth and told him, but I didn't. At this point, they turn for me because they realized that I still am pretty intact and can deal a shit ton of damage. So they actually go for me. I reposition again. And you're going to see... Exactly why I don't know all that much about playing crickets at this point in time. Um, I'm just landing a shot ton of damage at this point, which is fine. But Untaken has been pressured by three dudes. And there's only so much I can do with my crickets up here. Uh, Untaken dies there. And I actually retract here thinking, oh, I, I should be safe here. But watch these. Like, this was such a good shot. Like, watch what happens here. Bam! There goes two of my freaking crickets. So that was a very nice shot. I'm almost degunned, and there we go. I'm degunned. So that's actually it for the second round. We uh we got pretty toast. Let's just put it that way. 
So uh, moving on to the final third round, which makes everything just a tiny bit yeah. more interesting, which is nice. Like, who doesn't like some freaking interesting best out of three gameplay? I sure do. I hope you guys appreciate it too. Don't forget to drop a like down below if you actually appreciate this. Yeah. And let me know if I should post the rest of these like random clips I have that I don't really fit like feel like fits in anywhere. Still consider that this was from my sixth time, and that's a long time ago, but it's still some pretty good clips, so that's why I haven't deleted them. Nevertheless, we're just looking out for the dog because it looked like he was actually going for us. Um, so I, I, I look for him there. He uh, doesn't get hit. As you can see, though, on the map, he actually cloaked up once again, or he went away from the radar. I don't know. But you can see from his direction that he actually is still going for me. He just want to go through our cap instead. But I'm just going for it. Like, I'm just trying to get as much damage on yeah. the enemy here, pushing for cap as po humanly possible. And now the dog is back there on... Oh, not the dog, but the Lancer is back on the map once again. I see that. I see him going away now. Thinking to myself, when is he going to come? In my opinion, like, I overstayed a little bit. But luckily, he wasn't as fast as I thought he would be up on the ramp. So I can cloak and do the jump, jump as usual and as you can see he actually jumps through like down to the uh, mid section there where the, his team is so I'm safe for now which is all cool I wouldn't recommend sitting on cap as a cricket hover as I said in the first game I want to rotate to the opposite side that's the most like safe thing for me to do but as we didn't really know where they expect like where they wanted to go I just sat in cap for as long as I could um and missing a lot of shots here, but again, don't forget, I'm still new to all of this. It, the move that I make now is super stupid, and you should never do this. Like, look at how close I actually go to him. Yes, I land a ton of damage on him, and he has two guns smoking, but I get way too close for him. And I actually get punished by that. Uh, I lose a gun. The second here, like, I, I luckily rotate at the very final second, because I want to use my side armor to actually tank that tsunami shot. Had I not done that, I would have lost all three hovers. And had I lost all three hovers, it would have been a GG for me. I would have lost my entire firing angle and I would have been, wouldn't have been able to help my team at all. Nevertheless, they, sh they have to stress on cap. So the porcupines wreck them and we basically win this. Nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to drop a subscribe so you can always follow. Until next time, guys, have an awesome one. Bye.